hello and welcome to my channel it is me queen vani and it's 2020 this is my first video of 2020 so i am so sorry for the delay i apologize that i've been late it has been a whirlwind for me in my personal life so it has um kind of hindered me from making videos but i am here today to <clears throat> give you guys um a update on what's been going on in my life so um as you can probably tell i have put on a little bit of weight um i have um i'm 180 pounds right now so i'm gonna make another video <clears throat> about what I'm gonna do with the weight you guys should already know it's um, I'm gonna do a seven-day fast and um, I'll, tr I'll video I'll video vlog myself um, daily and um, yeah that'll be my first time doing something like that so I put on some weight so I need to detox so I'm here today to kind of give you guys an update on like what's been going on so I've moved like four times in the past no, I think I've moved five times in the past three and a half years. So, like, a lot has been going on in my personal life. Um, but, as you can see, like, I've still been able to maintain um, a, a, a healthy weight. So, <clears throat> I have um, decided that I am going to be very persistent with videos this year. I don't really have a choice. Um, I have resigned from my... Um, my nine to five so I'm gonna be here for you guys a lot more um, I'll have a lot more time for you guys so definitely I'm gonna need the support and um, I'm gonna need you guys to like and like watch the videos and like share them with your friends and family so um, and that way I can be here for you guys um, because last year i was overwhelmed like so many people wanted me to, wanted wanted me to help them but i was going through so much in my personal life and my job and like the job that i had like it was really high maintenance it was um like we it, you got graded <laughs> all the time so it was very stressful um and then i had a lot of stuff going on with my personal life and then i decided to move and so but i'm 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 back so I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna be here for you a lot more um, I'm gonna make more videos I am going to be more interactive and so this is what I'm gonna be focusing on which is you guys like um, I am like the I'm pro self-love you guys know that and I feel like when you have a certain type of gift um if you don't use that gift you're not really loving yourself so this is a part of me loving myself as well because whenever i interact with you guys i promise you it makes me feel so good like it makes me feel better i'm literally getting chills just now because it's been so long since i've made a video it's been so long since i've talked to you guys like i want to be more interactive i want to like set up live youtube days so that we can interact with each other and then later on people can go and watch us and you know maybe they'll join in the next time so i just want to really i am going to really take this serious so i want to reach as many people as i can and kind of like spread the word so like i have merchandise um being created right now of course it says sip sip and self-love is the best love because it is um and i'm super excited about it if you follow me on my instagram queen siobhan then you probably seen a picture of me wearing one of the sweatshirts that was just like just getting it started or whatever so we have a couple different more colors and everything but i will slowly but surely um, let you guys know all about that where you can get one so you can let me know what size you are because I know everyone's gonna want to support and I know you're gonna want to um, I mean why wouldn't you want to rock the wear that says self-love is the best love you know so it's just and not only that like I'm gonna have the sip sip um, sip sip t-shirts and little dad hats and socks and 
maybe even get some earrings i've gotten a lot of compliments on those so like i just want to tune in i want to tune in i want to be here for you guys i in may of last year like when i did the speech down in texas i said i, I want to be a beacon of light and with being a beacon of light people are going to gravitate towards you and if that's what I am, if I'm a beacon of light and you guys are gravitating towards me, I have to make sure that I'm here for you to share, shed the light on you, you know, because obviously you need some and I want to be there for you. So, um, I just, yeah, so that's kind of like a little bit of my update and like some news and what's going on with, with me. Um, I'm back in Cincinnati, so if you're around the Ohio area, then you never know. We may be able to, we may run into each other, and if you need some like one on one time or whatever, like I'm super transparent, okay? I know people are like, oh, you're all so well, you guys are like baby celebrities now, and I'm just like, man, I'm still the same person. Um, I could be, I will be a multi millionaire very soon. And when that happens, my demeanor is going to be the same because, I mean, I'm, I'm already a multi-millionaire already. And this is how I'm acting now. I'm, all, I'm still going to be, this is me. This is who I am. This is a part of my essence. I'm, I care. I care. I care about you guys. And I, I care about myself. So this is who I am, you know? So, yeah. I um what else is going on with me so yeah oh my gosh so I have to tell you guys um, I was in a relationship um, and I'm not gonna go there and one day I'll be able to tell you but I can't tell you right now I'm just not ready so but um, I'm not in a relationship anymore back on the prowl single <laughs> but um <clears throat> anyway so let me think what else what else what else what else what else could I tell you guys about I didn't know I told you guys that I gained some weight I'm gonna fast I'm gonna do a seven day fast I'm gonna drink water um tea and I probably have fruit not every day um but like whenever I feel like I need that it to get me over the edge because it's been a while since I fasted I haven't fasted since I did the 15 day fast last year so it's been a while and I've been through so much emotionally and like physically so I really need to fast and I've been eating <clears throat> so terribly because I've been moving all over the place like y'all I was homeless like living in my car sleeping in my car in the winter like yes mm -hmm. yeah okay so like when i tell you i've been going through some things i've been going through some things like i have i haven't been in a situation like that since i was like in a 17 and so this is like what in, <laughs> is going on right now but it was something that i had to go through it was something that i had to it was a it was a very traumatic experience but it was something that i had to go through um, to kind of reground myself um, so <clears throat> I'm doing better I'm not sleeping in my car anymore but my car did take care of me you know um, and yeah so slowly but surely I'm, I'm, I'm moving in the right direction so I am onward upward and uh, yeah so I but everything's good now back getting back on track um full force self-love fasting and yeah so we'll see how many pounds i lose since it's been so long since i've done a fast just doing seven days and see what happens with that and uh oh i went to the doctor uh yesterday or the day before yesterday the day before yesterday and because I've been eating like crap, that's what I was gonna say. I've been eating like crap. So I um I have been feeling pains um in my uterus, my ovaries. And as you guys, if you don't know, I have PCOS. So 
unlike the classic PCOS. So like this, you go Google, go Google, 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 Google. <laughs> if you were to go Google PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, if you look at the side effects or the symptoms, that's me. That's what I go through. Um, except I am fertile. I am fertile. So that is a win for for me. That's major. Super exciting news. Um, I do not have to go through the like medical process of getting inseminated. I am fertile. That is like one of the <laughs> best things because I was super depressed about that. Like, but anyway, I went to the doctor because I've been having pains and I got my um, annual done and everything. And <clears throat> she's like, yeah, something is definitely going on. She did the pelvic exam and you know, when they do the pelvic exam for women, you already know, you know, they push down on, on each side. So they feel, they're basically feeling your ovaries. For the males who are watching this video, that's what we go through <laughs> um, so that they can fill out ovaries, you know, see if there's any pain so when she went on the left side it was cool when she went on the right side i was like yeah it's painful so guys i am pretty sure and she's pretty sure that i have created a cyst on my right ovary um and it's been a while since i have had a cyst but i know where it came from i don't have to ask the doctor like oh my gosh where did this come from how did i get this i already know you know how i know because i've been eating like garbage I've been eating like garbage. I haven't been taking care of myself, my body physically, like as best as I should. I'm not, I haven't been drinking as much water as I should have been. I've been drinking alcohol. I've been drinking cow's milk. I've been eating beef. I've eaten pork. Like I, I have just literally not been taking care of my body. And now my body is telling me like, this is what you get when you don't take care of me. So that's why I'm like, all right, I need to do a detox. I'm going to go ahead and do these. Um, I'm going to knock out these seven days. And then when I go to the doctor, February, I think it's February 20 something. I don't remember. I have to look it up. But I'll do another update to let you guys know because my plan is to go ahead and if not totally, you know, get rid of the, the cyst naturally my way than to shrink it so much to where I don't have to worry about anything. It doesn't, it's, there's no more pain. You you wouldn't even know it was there. Um, and then eventually yeah, it, would, it would be gone over time. So without having to, you know, go through any additional medication or anything invasive, um, getting it removed. So, and that's pretty much all. So <clears throat> that's where I'm at. That's kind of like my update right now. This is a pretty long video. I told you guys it was going to be long. It's been a long time since I've talked to you guys. So I apologize. But um, so I miss you guys so much. And um, I have so many things that I want to talk to you guys about. I literally have been writing in my notepad a list of things that I just want to videos that I want to make like I told y'all I'm taking this serious I am not <clears throat> I'm not playing this is it this is it <clears throat> there aren't any other options okay <clears throat> so sorry there's something in my throat <laughs> but yeah guys so I am going to let you guys go and I am going to Millie Rock my way home get out this car and uh yeah good to business so you guys have a beautiful day or night or rising whenever you decide to watch this video um and i love you and i know that you love me okay i feel it thank you i miss you guys i know a lot of you been hitting me up like oh we're the video i miss you guys we miss you i'm back i'm sorry life happened and as we carry on with our journey i'm sure i'll tell you all about what i've been through because I, once I'm over it completely and I'm comfortable, like then I'm I'm super transparent. I can talk to you guys about it, but just not right now. Oh, oh, all of everything. So, but it's okay. Everything's good. I don't want you guys worried about me. All right, everything is going better, much better than it was. I wasn't able to make any video. I couldn't even think about making a video. So how I was feeling. 
so all right guys well i love you sip sip self-love is the best love all right and i will talk to you guys later